Okay, so I've created a second file for the cover. The way CreateSpace works is you submit the interior of your book, which is a page by page representation of it. And the cover is going to be double the width and a little bit room for the spine if you have enough pages to warrant that. Perfect Bound gives you that flat spine so that you can write your text on there, but this will probably be a saddle stitch, and saddle stitch is usually three staples in the spine. So that's probably what's going to happen. We'll see. Or it might be glued too. I'm not sure. So let's take a look at what my file is here. I'm in InDesign right now and I'm going to look at my document setup. Now this is in Pica, but if I just type in I need eight and a quarter inches across so I need to double that. So that's going to be 16.5 inches. So if I just type in 16.5 IN it'll translate and then six inches height is 36 so let's make sure that's accurate and didn't change so that's perfect so now I have all my pieces here and now this is gonna bleed and remember the bleed is the area that falls off the page this thicker black line is called the trim size and this is the actual size of the book when you fold this over it'll be exactly eight and a quarter inches now a way to test that is you can't see it on this video but I'm gonna go in right now and make sure that these are inches and now I'll take my zero point which is in the corner I don't know if you can see that or not and then I drag it to the corner here and now if I go to eight and a quarter inches there's probably an easier way to do this. This is just the way I know how to do. So eight and a half is eight and a quarter. So that's the mid range. And remember, we want a, f a half an inch of live area to work with on all sides. So we want to make sure we don't go anywhere over that. You know, with the cover, it's not as crucial, obviously, because you're not going to be folding it, but just keep you want to keep that in mind you're going to know exactly how it's going to look so here is my my assets this is right now a text file if it was a image it would be let's see if i can show you there see there's no see how it watch when i click on this there's a little white box there if i do it over here there's no white box so we know that this is an image now I'm mean, going to need to go at least an eighth of an inch over my trim. So I'm going to put that, that's a quarter, that's an eighth. And then I also do it down here. You'll see it better on this side. There's a half inch, there's a quarter inch, there's an eighth inch right there. So that's as far as down as my artwork needs to go. So I'm just going to use the up and down arrow. I'm going to bring that up to right there. And I need at least an eighth of an inch over my trim size. So when they cut it, it'll be there'll be no white area. So this is a bleed. This is this actually bleeds off the page. That's the term. Now remember, this is my middle area. So I need to bring my, my name over. And I'm in with that live area. And I think that's okay right there. And then I just want to double check this. And I'm going to want to put that right there. Probably right there. What I, what I want to do is balance, make sure it's balanced. If I had everything go to the right, the page would have been not balanced. This is a very simplistic. I like to, I tend to do that more with my titles. I, I like to keep it simple. I don't like it to be really busy. Now when I go now that's my front of the book. And now here's the back of my book. So here's my artwork. I'm gonna bring that down to about right there. Here is not this is a really loose book book design. What I mean by that is that there's no there's like not a there's really not a lot of words. And so this information is open for the the um, ISBN number. And the barcode so it's pretty loose there I could if I wanted to I could make that larger and then for all intents and purposes this one's done I have to save it 
and we're going to save that. And then we're going to export it to a PDF file. And again, this is going to be a high res PDF file. So we're going to go to the export feature here. Export. If you can see that, H over PDF, and then I'm going to save it and then I'll upload this file. So it's just one page. Click on that, make sure it says one page. We're going to export it. That could, should just take a few seconds. And then this is my, I, I, you know, I'm really liking this a lot. I think it's a really good design. You know, it's very simplistic. That would be a great poster actually right there. If I just printed that up, if I was doing a book fair or something, and I could have the, more information about the uh, event right there. I really like this a lot. And so we're ready to go. Now, like I said before, if this was a thicker book, like you had, say, you were doing 100 pages or 300 pages, if you had a paperback book that you were writing, there would be definitely room for the spine. Then I'll go back to my cover. Actually, sign off now, and then see you in the next video, and we're going to upload our cover. And then we're going to go through the same thing. We're going to go through the online reviewer, and it's going to tell me if the, if the graphics are good, and hopefully everything's copacetic.